Alright guys, so this is the directory created by Sonnet4, Claude Sonnet4. As you can see, we've got all the listings right here and it displayed nicely. So when you go to one of the states, this is how it's going to display the states. And when you select one of the city and here it's going to render all the opening hours and look at the actual display of the listing. The long wait is done guys, Claude 4 is here and they have the Claude Sonnet 4 and it's also available in Open Router as you can see here Anthropic Claude Sonnet 4 and it's just the same cost as the Claude Sonnet 3.7 they also have the Claude Opus 4 but the price is quite ridiculous $75 per million token so we are not gonna try that today but we are pretty excited creating a WordPress theme for our new directory using the Claude Sonnet 4 so here we will be creating this new directory right here churches australia that directory and we're gonna start scraping our data right here so i'm planning to build all types of church right here so you see here we have different type of churches like catholic church christian church baptist church but for now we're gonna scrape the data for catholic church and later on we can grow our directory that's why our domain will be generic to churches australia so we can add any type of church now let me go ahead and quickly scrape my data here in Kifa Scraper. So I'll go to scrape business listings. And here, I'm gonna choose the Catholic Church for now and specifically in Australia. So just leave the region empty if you want to scrape all the states or you can choose a specific state within the country. But I'm gonna leave it blank so I will scrape all the Catholic churches. So I'll have the number of results 10,000 and let's get the data. All right, so while waiting for this data, this is the usual single prompt that we are using to create our directory. So I'm going to take a copy of this. I'll paste that to a blank notepad, just like that. And here, we're just going to quickly add this configuration right here. So the folder name is going to be, so I'm just not going to name it like that. So in case we need a new model, I can just append it with the model that we're using. So we are not adding confuse the time we are going to activate the team. So the site title will be, so it's as simple as churches in Australia. And here the custom post key will be churches only and we're gonna have to categorize it by state and later we will add a custom field so here we have the custom field category so we can determine the type of churches let's say for example catholic church or baptist decent church so we can use this custom field category to do that but uh, for now let's scrape all for catholic church so team name will be just the uh, churches in australia and then uh, i'll put sonnet 4 and here, the directory Google Cat, uh, let me just put uh, churches in Australia for now. Uh, I cannot put Catholic Church because later we will upgrade this to different types of church. So for now, I'll just put churches in Australia. So this one, you can put anything. It's just the variable that will be placed in some of our templates right here. So it doesn't matter. It is not the actual Google category name. So I'll just have it like that. And then the country will be Australia. So color palettes, you can remove that. We've had Sonnet 4 to decide. And when you remove the color palette, you have to scroll down and you will see here, either it's line 29 or line 30. Remove this, apply this color palettes to the team. We're going to remove that and that's it. That's all we need. Now, next, we're going to set up our local WordPress because we're going to run Climb and the Claude Sonnet 4 using VS Code. So I'm just going to quickly create my local WordPress environment. So you can download this. It's called Local WP so that you can create multiple WordPress websites in your local. Now, I'm going to add local site and then click on continue. Then I'm going to name this as Churches Australia. Now, here, if you will access that locally, it will be churchesaustralia.local. Now, click on continue and let's install the WordPress. All right, looks like our WordPress is ready. So after this got installed, make sure you toggle this to on. So when you click this WP admin, it goes straight away to your dashboard. So let's try that. And there you go. That's our churches in Australia. Now, we're ready to create the team. So just simply click this VS Code and this will open your uh, files directly in VS Code. So as you can see all your WordPress files. Now let's go to Klein right here. You can use root code or Klein. So for now, let's use Klein. And here, make sure you add the correct model that we're going to use. So go to uh, Open Router and we copy this Claude Sonnet 4. Let's copy this. I'll head back here, change the model. All right, now we're ready to test this uh, Claude Sonnet 4 to create our team. Now make sure your custom instruction because last time I just added custom instruction so make sure it's correct. So I'll just say I'll just remove some unnecessary instructions and once it's done I uh, just click on save and just double check here whether you're using the correct model. Now we're ready to prompt this. I'm just gonna copy everything, copy this and let's do it. Let's try the God Sonnet 4 to create our brand new directory. Let's go. 
And here, while we're waiting uh, to complete our coding, as you can see, we straight the Catholic Church and we've got 1,769 listings. So we're going to download this. And here is our beautiful data. So what you need to do here is just clean up the state because we're going to categorize this based on the state. Why we need to clean up? Because we don't want the short version name of the state. We want it to be consistent. So the easy way to do that is go to filter and activate a filter. And here, hit this and then click ascending. So now we can easily browse the states that have the shortened version. All right, let's go through. So I saw the first one. So ACP should be the whole name, Australian Capital Region. So let's move on. And here we've got Lados NSW. So make sure you copy the New South Wales and fix this. Then copy the Northern Territory. We have one end key right here. Fix that. And you have this QLD that's Queensland. So we will fix that. All right, so I think we fixed everything. So make sure you save your file. So later we're going to import this to our WordPress and see our listing. Now let's go back to Klein and see whether we have completed the directory. All right, guys, so it completed our directory and we spent a total of 0 0.7, not that bad. And it provided us the comprehensive overview of uh, what's happened while uh, it created our directory. So let's gonna check our files. So here are our files right here. Now we're gonna activate this theme and I'm pretty excited how it's gonna look. So here, let's head over to dashboard and go to appearance, go to themes. We should see now the themes right here because the church is in Australia Sonnet 4. Let's activate this. Now, before we see the actual appearance, we have to quickly upload our data. So we're going to upload new listings so that we can see how it's going to look with our listing right here. So let me quickly install the required plugin. So after you activate the theme, go to uh, plugins and add these two important plugins. So first is the advanced custom fields. I'll install this. All right, once it's activated, very important, go to the field groups. And you see, this is the sync available. This is the custom fields that we requested in our prompt. And we're going to import this. All right. And then the next plugin to upload our data will be the ultimate CSV. I'll activate this. All right. Once you're here, we can now upload the data. So here, just browse the file that you clean up. All right. So here, make sure you select the correct post type, which is the churches. Click on continue. And once you're here, go to drag and drop mode. And very important, check the ACF fields. It's there and the terms and taxonomies. So we need to create correctly the hierarchy of our terms and taxonomy. So we're going to categorize by state and then city. So this is how you're going to do that. So first, drag the region right there and add a comma. Now, this is going to be the parent category. Now, to create children, again, drag the region just like that and add a hyphen and then arrow to the right and then drag the city. All right, that will create your hierarchy or your taxonomy or your category. Now, here in WordPress core fields, what I usually do, I drag just three things, the title right here, and in the content, I'm just going to add the attributes because that's what I set in the prompt. It will render this JSON data here in the content and the most important featured image. So our listing will be being nice with the image. So right there, the main image, just drag it there. Uh, that's it for WP core fields and the ACF fields, you're just going to have to drag all, all these mappings. So make sure they're correct. So I'm just going to do that really quick. All right, it's all set. Now I just left the main image as blank because I want to use this in the ACF fields. Anyway, it's in the featured image. Now everything is mapped correctly. Let's go to continue. And again, a very important setting. Don't forget to tick this. So it downloads all the featured image here in our WordPress. Now click on import. So you see right here, we've got 1,769. So we'll just wait for a few listings to be uploaded, maybe 50. So here it's quite fast. And then we will open the site to a new app. Do not close this while it's uploading, otherwise it will get canceled. So here we, we're now in 35 to 40. So I think we can open it. I'm pretty excited. So here, make sure to open to new tab. And guys, look at this. This is our directory right there. It's just created two categories for now because it's still in the process of uploading. But look how beautiful this is. Wow, it's pretty amazing. It really did a great job. And what I want to check is this one. If it's loading the state, it got it in one prompt. That means it's pretty intelligent. All right, and let's check the listing, one of the listing, this one, Holy Trinity Catholic Church. All right, this is how it's looked. It's okay, but at least it structured it pretty well. Now, that's missing the city. We go to Australian capital. So here are the listings of the churches. And this is our photo right here. And let's see how it's listing the... So when you go to the key and then the Campbell City, so this is how it's going to list the church. All right, so this one is with the opening hours. As you can see, there's the opening hours being rendered. And there are reviews right here. And let's check this. So this is how it's going to look when there's opening hours. So it's pretty clean. 
at that pad. All right. So we'll just wait for all this data to be completed. So this 1769, so we can see actually how it's going to look. So now once it's done, you're going to head to your hosting provider. In my case, I'm using hosting or, and you're going to add a new site right here. You're going to connect the domain. So that's pretty easy to do. I have the complete guide in the description below but guys this is the appearance using god sonnet 4 you don't have to modify a lot of things it got all our instructions right here in the single prompt and i hope you get something from this video and see you on the next one